Log in to UCS Manager with your credentials. Once you log in, go to LAN tab which is on the left pane. Select VLAN, and create a new VLAN by clicking the, the Add button. Give a VLAN name, or VLAN prefix which you can easily identify. Select Common or Global option. On the VLAN ID, give the correct VLAN ID number. Keep the sharing type as default. Once you give the VLAN details, check the overlap option. This is for identifying whether same VLAN ID is already mentioned in the UCS. Also keep in your mind that, we should not keep same number for VLAN and vSAN. If no overlap identified, click on OK. A new VLAN has been created successfully. Next procedure is to enable the newly created VLAN in the network interface. In some scenario, newly created VLAN will be added to the VLAN group which has already enabled in the network interface. VLAN group option is available in the same LAN tab. Now I am just verifying, whether any faults are there on the newly created VLAN. Select the appropriate VNIC template and enable the newly created VLAN on both FIA and FIB by selecting the same. Once the VLAN has added to VNIC template, UCS will also allow inbound and outbound traffic which belongs to newly created VLAN. In some UCS environment new VLANs are only added to VLAN groups which has already permission on vNIC templates. So in this video, I will show you how to create VLAN group. Create a new VLAN group name and add the newly created VLAN to this group. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts please put it in the comment box. Thanks for watching this video. If the information is helpful. And drop a like, put a comment, and don't forget to subscribe my channel.